Hi guys and welcome to another Flight Deck 2 Sim tutorial. In today's video we're going to look at the Rapid Depressurization and Emergency Descent Procedure. Now we're currently on board the Zebo mod in X-Plane 11 and we've just reached our top of climb on this sector from Oslo to London Heathrow. What this tutorial is, is just a demonstration of the Rapid Depressurization and Emergency Descent Procedure that we would fly in the event of a cabin decompression. Now like with all my other tutorials, the guidance is not to be used for real world flight training. Although all the information is based on real world procedures that would be applied, they have been adapted so I can apply the profile single pilot in a multi-crew aircraft in a desktop simulator. Right, so now let's place a reasonably sized hole in the side of the Zebo mod and apply the rapid depressurization and emergency descent profile. Right, so now let's take a look. So if you ever find yourself in the cockpit of a 737, word of advice, don't press any buttons that say failures, pressurization, and then rapid depressurization, because that's what's gonna happen. Now immediately, you can hear the cabin altitude warning horn go off with the cabin altitude lights, and look at X-Plane 11. It's already giving you the effects of hypoxia. Uh, so immediately, what you have to do is don oxygen masks. Now Zebo tells me if I press this little button here where it says oxygen mask, uh, oxygen mask, come on, there we go, is that working? I think that has now alleviated hypoxia, simulating that we got the oxygen mask on. Now immediately we need to establish communications with the other pilot. Now if you go down here on the pedestal, well it's actually not modelled with the Zemo mod, in the real aircraft there's a little switch here that says boom and mask. We need to move that to mask so you can talk to the first officer uh, if you're the captain and establish communications. It's worthwhile turning off the altitude horn cutout as well which will improve communication. Now immediately the first officer is going to try and establish pressurisation of the aircraft. He's going to move the pressurisation mode selector to manual and try and close the outflow valve. Now it seems quite apparent that, that there's no uh, pressurization at all because if you have a look at the pressurization panel you can see that the differential pressure is at zero and the cabin altitude is currently reaching the present altitude. So it goes without saying that the aircraft is not being able to be pressurized using the outflow valve selector and positioning it to manual so we need to initiate the emergency descent. Now the first officer's actions now will put the uh, first, uh, fastest seatbelt sign on and then we go to the passenger oxygen switch and flick it on regardless regardless of the fact that the passenger oxygen switch is on anyway. And we're now going to move on to the captain's actions of initiating the emergency descent. Now what the captain will do is go down to the pedestal, he'll select PA and announce emergency descent three times. So he'll now say emergency descent, emergency descent, emergency descent, and then select VHF1 so he can talk to ATC uh, if required. Now the first action immediately, we've done this a lot quicker in reality as, as well, is to quickly wind this down a couple of uh, turns and then immediately select heading uh, level change, uh, then going to push heading select and just turn the aircraft by approximately 45 degrees. That just gets the aircraft on its way down, descending, and off any potential airway that we might be on. Once we've done that, we're going to close the thrust levers manually. Uh, once that's done, we're going to select the speed brake to the flight detent position, and then we're going to increase our speed all the way up to VMO, MMO, unless we think there could be any structural issues to the aircraft. Let's just bug about Mach Decimal 8.1, uh, just keeping us below MMO there, and that's going to get us down as quickly as possible. Once we've done that, we've got the aircraft ascending now and off the airway, we can just tidy up the MCP. So what we need to set up here in the altitude window is 10,000 feet or the MSA, whichever is higher. Now we're currently over uh, just south of Oslo in the North Sea, so we can safely put uh, 10,000 feet here. And then also we'd set the local QNH, which happens to be 1013 today. Uh, heading's already on south, so we don't need to tidy it up anymore. And then the captain would just simply respond to altitude calls from the first officer as we continue descending towards uh, 10,000 feet. Now obviously and simultaneously the first officer would have completed his actions obviously in a desktop simulator we have to do this uh, separately and individually so let's go through the first officer's actions now. He would have put the start switches into continuous, he'll then go down to the pedestal and set 7700, the international distress frequency, telling ATC that we're obviously dealing with a, uh, a very serious situation. He'd then contact ATC on the radio and he'd simply say, Mayday, 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 Broadsword 01, we've had a rapid depressurization, initiating emergency descent, descending to altitude 10,000 feet, heading 180 degrees, and request the local QNH, which we've already set by the captain, which is 1. 013. Once the Q&H is set, we're then going to monitor the TCAS and descent. Uh, don't also forget to select the transponder to TA to avoid any nuisance 
uh, traffic advisories on the way down and resolution advisories as we are con uh, committed to an emergency descent here uh, and we also need to turn off the turn off and in board lights here just to increase visibility uh, perhaps at night time not 100% sure why we have to do that and that's essentially it now we're going to then anticipate turbulence and icing requirements on the way down and uh, the first officer will call out every 10,000 feet to go and then at two to go uh, or 12,000 feet in this case we're going to slowly reduce the rate of descent by bugging our speed back to around 250 knots and at 1,000 feet to go at one to go the captain will retract speed brake the first officer will then read the depressurization emergency descent checklist in the QRH, which the airline I work for is stored down here in the PDF, uh, in the uh, uh, pedestal section here, just to make sure that nothing's been omitted and that all the steps are complete. Uh, otherwise, we'll just keep on going down until we reach 10,000 feet where we can remove oxygen masks. Okay, so we're approaching two to go now. We can start winding the speed back. 250 knots is a reasonable speed to set. That just uh, will help uh, reduce the rate of descent and also uh, slow the aircraft down to a more efficient speed. And we're just waiting for 1,000 feet to go, which is the altitude at which we'll stow the speed brake. Alright guys, so now we're safely at 10,000 feet and the cabin altitude light is extinguished, it would be safe to come off oxygen. So firstly, the first officer would remove his mask and establish communications again with the captain with just his headset. The captain would then hand over control to the first officer so he can re remove his oxygen mask. And whilst the first officer has control, he'd actually talk to the cabin crew for an update of the situation in the cabin. Is there any damage to the aircraft? Are there any injuries? Uh, and it's all really important to gather inf that information for the next plan of action, which would be most likely to divert we most certainly cannot continue to our destination to London Heathrow so the crew would go through some sort of decision making process our present position just to the west of Denmark will probably make a left turn we have Billund here Copenhagen's around 160 miles here uh, to the west as well so there's quite a few suitable airports we divert uh, to the most suitable one and get all the medical assistance as required Right then, that's the end of the rapid depressurization and emergency descent tutorial. I hope you found that interesting and learned something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe for Fly Safe, and I'll see you for another tutorial and live stream very soon. Bye bye for now.